Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Lost Isle. Um, we are back at the beginning of the castle. Uh, I left off the last video by that little, like, block pushing puzzle dude place. And, um, well, there was, like, a name I needed to sort of spell. But, uh, I, you know, I was guessing, like, grade four and everything. Uh, turns out I couldn't, I could have actually, so I could have solved that. Uh, however, I could have not done anything in the next room yet, uh, because I needed a small key. So, I, uh, backtracked, uh, all the way to the entrance of the dungeon, and if you go straight up north a few screens, here we are at the throne room, and we can light a little candle here. Alright, arrows, that's not, but there's, uh, little sayings here. Ballstock throne room, king of Ballstock, king Edgar the fourth. Edgar is what we were needing to spell on those things. However, I can't really do anything over there yet because, uh, as I said, I'm going to need a small key. So we can go left or right here. I haven't gone in either direction. Uh, we've been going to the right. Ooh, a lot of places to go. Um, so my goal right now is to find a small key before I can make my return down to that area. Uh huh. I gotta play this. That didn't quite do it. Alright. So, it sounds like maybe I need to get some kind of musical instrument here, but I already have one, but it didn't work. Alright, let's go up the steps. Okay, takes me... Right. So, I'm assuming that block over there pushes lowers these, these blocks, oh no, and I'm assuming that one over there, alright, so this is for much later, and will probably involve some backtracking, so I can't do anything there, let's, this is gonna head back down to the basement, I think, and, uh, I am blocked off, okay, so, for better or for worse, there's nothing to do in these three, uh, I'll keep that in mind that there is that little musical note thingy, I'm sure that will come into effect in just a little bit. Uh, but for now, let's head left and see what we can find over here. Uh, also in the last video, uh, a few guys were pointing out that there was some suspicious looking... Oh. Play the royal melody to access certain sealed doors in the castle. Alright. So it looks like we will need to learn the royal melody. Um, Alright, as I was saying, it looked like there was a few suspicious looking walls that I did not try to bomb. Uh, some in the basement, some throughout the area. I'm going to try to keep my eye out for those in the future. Um, I hope I don't have to backtrack all the way to that corner of that basement just to get something, but uh, it looks like that might be the case. Okay, uh, is this a secret wall? Not there. Okay, it looks like I'll need the step ladder to get by here, so I can't do anything uh, in this area. Uh, so instead, let's just keep walking to the right. And uh, this looks like more endless basement stuff. Oh no, another one of those melodies. Okay. So clearly, I'm going to need to get a melody. I can't, I can't light these things, and I need to push this from the other side to get here. So, nothing I can do here. Huh. So, I'm sort of in a crossroads right now, because I don't know if there's anywhere else in the dungeon to go to. Uh, so I'm going to backtrack a few screens, um, back to the right side of the dungeon. Not so much to where the, um, uh, not to where that block pushing puzzle was, because I, again, I need a small key, but uh, there was a little secret, or what appeared to be a bombable wall, I don't even know if they are bombable walls, they just might look like cracks in the wall, but uh, I'll navigate this area again, see if I can have any luck finding anything, uh, okay, that one I bombed a lot, or, okay, those, okay, that's still lowered, so I can go in this direction. Uh, let's see... I think there was a secret wall... Like, are those secret walls there? At the bottom and at the top? I... 
Yes, there is one. Okay, so this is one of the ones I was. Wait, come on. There we go. Did I missed that. Okay, that one isn't one though. So, okay. I think this is one of the ones that somebody pointed out in the last video. The other one was in the basement all the way at the left side, and I don't really want to go there. Go there right now. Alright, now. Okay. So I'll just run and step. Is this timed or something? It sounds like it's timed. That's a strange looking room, <laughs> but okay, back here. Alright, at least so now if I I was at the screen, this leads just outside if you fall down to the basement. But uh, it's good to know that I can actually just walk uh, so I can easily get through this room. Ooh, new enemies. Alright, so... Ow. Uh, okay, there's cracks in the wall, so I gotta be careful not to stand on one place for too long. Okay, I can't go left. That's gonna lead to a dead end. Uh, so let's go right. Make it. Oh no. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, I gotta make it to the. Can I even make it to the bottom left? Or are there. Oh, I could have gone that way. Uh, I, I, well, I sure hope I can without falling. There's an Armos. Can I get sneak in here? Yes, I can. Okay, there's an Armos statue. Uh, those are so much easier than <laughs> way back in the day. Alright, so that lowers... What are these enemies? There's... Are these the same enemies that I found in the Sky Garden? That one room? I think they are. So... Ow. Okay. Alright, I need to find a... Uh, there's a switch in the middle there. Oh, goodness. these guys respawn. Okay, so I gotta do some backtracking. I gotta hit that switch. So, alright, so this looks like this little maze is gonna have quite a bit of backtracking, and I don't wanna fall down. Oh boy. Alright, these, I think these, okay, at least the ground respawns each time. Well, let me go get that treasure chest. Probably just arrows, but. Oh, bombs. A secret. See, some of these walls, they, like, this whole wall, this whole dungeon just seems like it's in ruins a little bit, so some things look like they are fake walls, but they really aren't. Okay, that opens the door. Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, so I can't go right here. Yeah, no, I can't. Ow. Okay, did I... Oh, no! I fell down! Alright, uh, luckily it's only... You know, I actually never even explored this area. So before I go back, let me explore this basement area. I assume there's gonna be nothing here. Um, just more of these treasure chests. Mindless treasure chests. Like, I assume there might be some arrows, but nothing of great importance. Let's see. My guess is 20 arrows in that treasure chest, or blank. Ooh, magic. Just as useless. Okay, no secrets over here. Uh, let's see, is there anything down here? Oh, boy. Hearts, okay. Maybe that treasure just looks like it has something of interest. Ah, uh, just bombs. Can I bomb that lower wall? It's got that, like, weird. Nope. Okay, so there's nothing here. Alright, I'm gonna make my way back up a screen then. Uh, although, you know what, I'm actually. Ooh, sweet, that just keeps respawning. Well, I don't know if it keeps respawning, but it respawned then. Uh, I'm actually going to make my way through the basement. I'm going to probably do this off screen just to make sure there's no secret looking walls. So uh, let me get back to the screen that has the lit staircase. Alright, 
There we go. So I will be back here momentarily. Alright guys, we're back here in this room. Uh, it turns out there was nothing of importance in the basement at all. So uh, I'm gonna be... Oh boy, I just fell down again. Great. Alright. Uh, I won't actually do that off camera this time. But uh, yeah, I walked through the entire basement. All of those somewhat looking, strange looking walls were all just nothing of interest at all. So yeah, turns out uh, I didn't actually miss much at all. So that's a good thing, at least, or sort of a good thing, I guess. Um, it's a good thing in that I didn't miss anything, but it's a bad thing is I still don't have a perfect idea of where I need to go. Okay, can I toss my boomerang at that thing? No. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that lowered that switch. That's actually kind of hard to <laughs> toss that boomerang in that angle. Uh, again, I've been playing... A few times now. I'm playing on an Xbox 360 wired controller, and uh, using this joystick is not the most ideal... Uh, I guess, playing mechanic of sorts. Alright, I can go up. If I go right... Okay, I can actually make it to that doorway going down. Let me just see if there's any... Uh, okay, the pathway on the right will lead all the way up. Okay, so I could get... So let's head to the door right here. I assume this is going to go back outside, maybe? Uh, no, well, it's not light, but... This room looks like a whole lot of nothing. Should I fall down? This seems like a perfect opportunity to fall down. Because, oh, I remember, maybe it depends where I fall down. Or I'm gonna fall down. Take this unbelievably well-hidden extra key and use it wisely. <laughs> really? Oh! I fell down. Wait a second. That was extremely, extremely odd. But I'm gonna backtrack back upstairs to where I just was. Alright, I'm back here at the screen, and uh, so yeah, we had a very unusually hidden small key, as it sort of said itself. Uh, that was kinda odd. I don't know if I, per because I walked on the left side, or maybe it's just the first time you fall automatically get that. Either way, that was kind of strange and unusual. But, we have a small key. Uh, this means that we do have uh, uh, multiple paths we can go. I'm gonna go check out this door. Let's see if anything leads over. Is there anything here? Ah, okay. This leads to the doorway. So I'm gonna check out this doorway first, uh, but then I can make my way back to that uh, the room with the block pushing puzzle, because uh, there's stuff to do Ooh, what is this? Uh, okay, nothing there. I would like a dungeon map, that'd be nice. I know I say that all the time, but... Um, oh, I think, uh... Actually, I think I know where I am. I think this is back... Uh, yeah! This is where I was oh so long ago. Let's see what... Let's... Do I have to hit this with something special? Okay, that's kind of just random. Okay, so let's see if this... I can uh, push this block left at any point now, so I can easily backtrack, but... Ah! Sweet! Another small key. Okay, so we have two small keys. Uh, so we're gonna make our way over to that block puzzle now, and I suppose with the... with the pair of small keys, we'll at least be able to make it... Uh, well, we're gonna be able to make some progress. Let's just leave it at that for now. Um, I wonder if that extra small key, because it, it, maybe there's an entire extra small key in the dungeon, like maybe we'd even need to get that one, because it seems kind of cryptic how it said, take this, I forgot what the word was, but it's like, secret small, like, it'd be hard to, it's kind of cryptic, I don't know if that was normal. Alright, all right. well, so I lower that, or I get rid of this block, so now when I come through that door, I can push this block onto here which will either, it'll probably lower these blocks and allow me to progress forward. So, uh, alright. A lot of new, uh, new territory. Uh, it's always exciting. 
So I was here actually in the last video of this portion. Uh, also, there's a... Is this still open? Yeah, if there's that exit over there that leads to uh, a cave where I need a stepladder to progress by. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh no, these guys respawn. Alright, let's see. Where are you? There we go. Give me help. There we go. Okay. Ugh. I hate the... the I, I talked about it in the last video, but I could do a spin attack to kill these guys, like, instantly, but with all the other obstacles in this room, this is kind of annoying. But... Okay. So, the door up top doesn't really lead anywhere. It leads to that area just where I was, the, that outside area. So nothing to see there, at least I don't think. Alright, so now... E... Ed... Gugh... Edgar... 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 The fourth. Sweet! Alright, so I can just randomly push this up for no apparent reason. It seems like an unnecessary block, because I don't think we're going to be coming the other direction. Are these guys just endless? Um, Alright, good, extra arrows, back up to full. Alright, so now we're finally... We finally... That's basically where I left off the last video, took this entire video to get back there. But, we can finally push this block here, and we have a small key to spare. So, let's see what we got. Ooh. Alright. Don't want to... So I went up a floor, so I wonder if I fall down in one of these holes, if it'll take me... If it'll take me just down to the previous floor. Alright, clearly can't go this way. Wait, is there anything to hit? No. Ooh, there's a floor switch at the top left, but, uh... Clearly cannot get to that. I don't want to take any chances of getting hit here. Come on. Alright, run. There we go. Um, okay, so I probably have to, like, this is where a map would come in handy, because I can look what one screen up is, but... Okay, so... Let's see if I can get rid of as many enemies as possible. Okay, perfect. Let's, let's kill this, uh, this grass. Okay, I can go down on the left side, down, or I can go right. Let's just go down here for now. Uh, ooh, I can go... I can use my key on that door to the left, so let's let's look first let's kill this grasp and then we're gonna head through that door. If I can get the dungeon item or a ooh. A lot of enemies. Ammunition room, warning, contains highly explosive material. Okay, that was kind of cool. Let's see, uh, ooh, a block puzzle. Ooh, this is a pretty hefty looking block puzzle too. All right, before I tackle this puzzle, I think I could have gone one screen to the left, so let me kill these guys first. I assume there's nothing, oh, uh, go away. Does that reset the enemies each time? I think it replaced the wall master with a dark nut. But uh, anyway, just for the sake of killing. Me. All right, come on. All right, nothing here. But let's go left just to see if there's anything here. All right, there's another locked door. Okay, I just want to navigate this area before I. Go to that block puzzle. Uh, is there anything? Up? It looks like a. See that looks like a bomb wall on the right side for sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. So. All right, that's gonna go. All right, that's gonna lead downstairs. So before we tackle a whole nother floor. Um, okay, come on. Let's, let's go and check out that bomb. Oh, these guys respawn. That's nonsense. 
call that temporarily respawns. Okay, this is probably going to take me a little while to figure out. There are one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Is this a free pushing block? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I can only push it once, though? So I can I only push it once, or because it went on a block? It... Let's see, can I push it again? Okay, I can push that unlimited times, but only once onto, um, onto a particular switch. Anyway, uh, okay, so this guy is useless right here. I know that for sure, because he's just going to go to the right. Uh, I can't do anything with him. Probably the only purpose of him is so that I can push this guy down. Uh, now if I... Okay, I can get those two down. Okay, this guy... Oh, shoot, come back. Let's see. What's gonna come here? This is a tough one. That block has to come here. But then... What? There's... Wait, there's not enough blocks here. Because look, these two that are pointing down will come here. Those are covered. That one pointing right, or to the left, will come here. This one will go all the way to the right. Okay, let me start over, see if there's any... Did I miss something? Like, I don't know what... Oh, never mind. This one right here, pushes to the right, will come here. Okay. So I think I was on the right track. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay. Let's move him down for now. Let's go you left. Let's get him on top of him. And... Him on top of him. Okay. Let's get you out of the way. Let's get you out of the way. Let's get you down. Alright, I think I'm going to get this on my first try. Yes, I got it on my first try. Alright, this was not nearly as hard as the other one. Uh, maybe I'm just getting better at this. <laughs> but, that should open this door, I assume. Okay, sweet. Another fun looking block puzzle. Alright, this leads to a locked door, which I do not have a key for. Oh, why did I just do that? Did I just screw up where I can't go back down? How can I get back down? How do I... Did I really just mess this up? How am I supposed to get out of here now? This is kind of strange. Uh... Um... Um... Hmm. This is quite a predicament, if you ask me. Because... Like, I can't... I can't do anything here, can I? Did I just completely screw up this room? Do I have to end my game and then, uh... <laughs> Am I missing something? There, there's no way the programmers could have messed this up. This is just, this would be poor game design. Did I have to shoot that thing? No. Is there a treasure chest that I don't see here? No. Huh. I think I, uh, trapped myself. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, you know what? This seems like a good time to end the video. <laughs> I'm going to end the video here. Uh, and I'm going to have to restart this dungeon. And uh, we will be back tomorrow with, uh, uh, I'll get back to the previous room. And then we'll go back to the basement, to that area that I was sort of just at. And we will continue on from there. So until then, take care, guys.